so today we have another what we eat in a day video for y'all and we also are going to be tackling a bunch of weeds on the homestead <laughs> this is the time of year when it's very tempting to just give up because the weeds are so ferocious out there <laughs> but kip got up early this morning he was inspired to get out there before the heat and tackle some of the weeds with his new machine that he got good morning i like the puppies here they're so excited I'm up to beat the sun this morning, beat the heat for sure, gonna do some weed eating, gonna fight the weed war. Here is some of the weeds. And then out there, a good bunch, and out there is a good bunch. Let's get out there and fight this war. left yet right there but other than that got this spot done Kip's doing an awesome job out there working hard on those weeds I've been in here making our breakfast uh, we had a lot of extra pole beans growing in the garden and I've already put quite a few in the freezer save for winter so this morning we're having beans with breakfast. I know that sounds kind of strange, but we're having our purple pool beans. Um, just cook those up and I added some butter to them. Uh, we also just did an onion harvest and a few of the onions were a little bit squishy on the outside, probably because of all the extra rain we've had lately, but the inside was still really good. So I wanted to use those up before they went bad. So I went ahead and uh, cut up those onions and sauteed them in butter to go along with um, some scrambled eggs. So scrambled eggs, sauteed onions, and beans from the garden is breakfast this morning. And then of course Kip has his coffee every morning and the children and I really love this dandy blend. So I'll be making some of that uh, to fill in the cracks. <laughs> Good morning, Abby Abby. How are you today? <laughs> she loves to stand on the stairs here and watch me cook. It's really fun. One of her favorite things these days. She loves books. And Esther Pye does a great job reading to her. <laughs> Time for breakfast. Okay, well, so far I've got, you know, this whole section done here. Did a big section over there. Wow. And then one circle over there. Looks so much better. They accumulate where we put the round bales. Yeah. Or when we were feeding them hay over and over and over. That's where the weeds really accumulate. The Big, nasty nasty weeds yeah we got a lot of really really pokey pigweed that came in on some of the hay is that what they're called pigweed i think so oh they are just the thorns on them are like that long yeah they're the thorny kind it's they're crazy. awful yeah Yo. anyways much better love yeah good work thanks hon <laughs> Yummy. Esther Pie, what do you think about green beans for breakfast? I love them. Cool. Alright, J Bud is out here getting what? You know what this is called? These are crabgrass weeds, huh? Mm -hmm. They are no fun. You're gonna spend 12 minutes, huh? And see how many you can get in 12 minutes. How many do you think you can get in 12 minutes? I don't know. You don't know? 
I think you can get about 50. Does that sound like too many? I don't know. All right, well, we'll give it a try. I'll come back in 12 minutes and we'll see how many you got. He's lining them up over here. He's gonna line them up on the pathway. Planted, just planted some new bush beans here, a purple variety. I can't remember the name. I'll see if I can find the name of that, but you can see the crabgrass just loves to grow everywhere. So Jay Bud, if you're able to get 50 in the 12 minute time period, guess what you get to do? Pick the watermelon. Yeah, you get to pick the first watermelon from the front garden, huh? Yeah. First watermelon of the season. Woohoo! Hooray, dishes are done. And even though it's already really hot outside, I am looking forward to getting out in the garden for a little bit to pull some weeds and just tidy up out there a little bit. So we're gonna go check in with Jay Bud and see if he got his 50 crabgrass weeds in 12 minutes. That bed looks a lot better. Where's he at? Hey Jay Bud, your 12 minutes are up. <laughs> Do you think he got 50? Definitely. All right, let's count them up. Oh, wow. Look at them all. 35. We're up to 35 almost there. 36, 37, 38, 50. We got 50 and there's still a whole bunch more. I think you got like 70 maybe. Should we finish counting them? We got 70. We got 70 exactly. Woohoo! High fives. Good work. Let's go find that watermelon, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll follow you. It's a jungle out here, watermelon jungle. Ooh. Does it sound ready? That sounds ready. He's been watching this watermelon for like a week, <laughs> wanting to pick it every day, huh? I saw it when it was a flower. You saw it when it was a flower. Yep, I saw a flower right there, packed out that one spot. Wow, incredible. Okay, go ahead and pick it. There we go. Hold it up. It's not as big as they can get sometimes, but it's still pretty good size. Wow. It definitely sounds ready. Definitely sounds ready. Where's the bottom? Oh, the bottom's almost fully colored out. So they're for sure ready usually when, it, when this uh, spot on the bottom turns um, colored. So it's still got a tiny bit of yellow, but I think it's close enough. You excited? Mm-hmm. Good Can job. Maybe we'll have it for a snack this afternoon when it's really hot. Sure. This is looking so much better, Esther Pie. Thanks. Wherever we put the rocks, there's been like no weeds. I think I pulled one little weed coming up out of the moss, but all along the edge has been covered with weeds. And she cleared this whole area over here. It's looking great. It's hot out here though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we can have a nice refreshing lunch in a little bit here. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Biddle? Picking flowers. Yeah, this is a really beautiful one. It's called Angel's Breath. It's a type yeah. of yarrow. So beautiful. Can I have a plant of it? You want a whole plant? Well, we're going to probably divide these out next spring. We've got three of them. Started with just a couple and I've been dividing them out. So it's just so pretty. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you like that one too? Yep. Yeah. You're going to make Guess what? I'm going to make some bases for it. You're going to fill up some bases? Yep. I'm going right. to go pick some of these <laughs> Those are pretty too, huh? This is powwow wildberry echinacea. Looks really pretty with the the white and then the purple lavender color of the anisysa. Really pretty combination. Yeah. Have fun! I'm gonna pull some weeds.
Daisy shoes on? Yeah. Flower. Lenula. <laughs> the girls have been eating some blackberries, huh? Okay guys, I'm gonna be making lunch today. I'm gonna make a really easy ice cream alternative. I'm gonna be using two ingredients, frozen bananas and coconut milk. I'm gonna put them in here and then use a stick blender to blend them. And then we're gonna use our hand crank ice cream maker. And then for on top, we're gonna make a raw granola. I know oats are usually best um, soaked and cooked, but today, because it's so hot, <laughs> we're just going to use the raw oats and add a little honey, cut up some Granny Smith apple slices or chunks, and then put a little bit of cinnamon, and then people can sprinkle that on top of the alternative ice cream. Yep. All right, I'm excited. Sounds Me too. Re sounds refreshing. How many weeds did you pull, by the way, out in the garden this morning? 300. 300 weeds. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks for doing that. You're welcome. All right. Let's get this lunch made, huh? <laughs> yep. I almost forgot. I'm also going to add some collagen protein powder. cinnamon powder it's almost gone <laughs> I like cinnamon Try it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm, super good. Good. Is it okay with the raw granola on top? Yeah, I would say so. Cool. Say yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Fiddle decided she wanted some granola in hers. Enjoy. You like it, Jay? Okay guys, lunch was so delicious. Nady is with the littles and reading stories to him right now. So before it's time to get Abby down for a nap, I thought I'd come out here and work on the calendula. Um, I 
we've got tomatoes and basil and calendula all growing together in this bed and I really needed to harvest some calendula so I gathered up most of the flower heads and put them in a bowl I'm going to dry those and then infuse them into some olive oil probably just for in the winter time to help the dry skin that we get in the winter time due to our cook stove <laughs> um, and then the calendula plants are looking a little shabby so I'm, I'm also just trimming them back and I'm saving a few of the little seeds for next year so I know some people actually plant uh, calendula in succession they do kind of an early spring and then plant some more in the summer I like to just chop them back in the middle of the summertime and then they kind of grow from the from the base with all new shoots and new flowers and it makes it a little easier than having to plant a whole nother round of flowers so you can see they're just kind of they're looking a little scraggly right now so I'm just chopping them back and then we'll let them grow from the from the bottom you can see there's already some new growth down here low so I'll cut just above the new growth and all of that'll come back with fresh, beautiful plants. Calendula seeds are really easy to see. You just look for the dried up heads like this. They get all crunchy and you can literally just kind of pull them off into your hands. All those little seeds. And calendula can self-seed in our zone. We're zone six. Um, I've actually only had them self-seed one time though. I think I just um, ended up piling too much compost in the area where the seeds were or something. I don't know. But we did finally this last winter have a few that self-seeded. And I'm hopeful that next year there will be a whole bunch in this bed. Because I'll probably grow some tomatoes here again next year. Bud, what's you up to? Um, I want to ask you if I could use some of your blue tips so that I can make like a little um, playhouse thing for play people. Sure, thanks for asking. Yep. <laughs> Have fun. All done. Got it all cleaned up over here. Trimmed up some of the tomato, lower tomato branches, did some weeding, um, clipped the basil, and then you could see there's still plenty of new growth on the calendula. And then I also discovered the mesa peach blanket flower that I had planted in here. I thought it was going to be taller than the calendula, so I thought it was going to be coming up through the middle of the bed here, but the calendula just was burying it. Um, Still tastes okay, huh, J-Bud? Mm -hmm. Not super sweet, but juicy and flavorful. Hello. You want some? Yeah. Well, we've got some leftover frozen watermelon. We'll add that to our not quite ripe watermelon on. <laughs> yeah. So now um, we don't just have to. Um... <laughs> so now we know the bottom of the watermelon has to be the same color of all the other ones. I know. Um, oh, the rest uh, of the watermelon. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, the bottom of the watermelon needs to be the color of all the rest of the watermelon for it to be ripe, huh? Mm -hmm. You can't just judge by how it sounded. It sure sounded ripe. It sounded mm -hmm. nice and hollow. But it's Not good. Ready, yeah, it's good to learn, huh? So now all the rest of the watermelon out there, we're gonna know when they're ready, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Esther's like, how are we supposed to eat this frozen watermelon? I think it's just maybe like a popsicle. <laughs> Suck on it. <laughs> is that good? It tastes super good soaking on it. Good. So this is actually supposed to be orange in here, and it's just yellow. So this variety does not get to red. It just gets um, to a bright orange color inside when it's ready. It's our favorite kind, huh? Orange glow. All right, time to start getting ready for Yummy Sunday. We're gonna be turkey bacon. We'll be in here, organic turkey bacon. Cut that up really small, get it nice and crispy, and then add it right to the ground beef to mash it in for hamburgers that we're going to cook on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. That's what we're up to. Sounds great. Hey y'all, right now we're just barbecuing up some burgers. Oh man. Now who made those into patties? Me and Esther. Alright, they look excellent. Man, those look so much neater than the ones I make always. 
Yeah, you guys made those way neater than I ever make them. Thank you. Good job. Those look so yummy. What do you think, Jay? <laughs> They're gonna be good. Thanks, love. Yum. <laughs> Looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going good. Jay Bud wanted his separate, so he got butter on his bun. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, someone else wanted her separate. That looks like a yummy plate. Thank you. <laughs> Well guys, thanks so much for joining us on the homestead again today. If you have a summer meal idea that you'd like to share in the comments below, please do that. Thank you so much to all of our patrons. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you to all of you who are leaving comments. Thank you for the gifts that you've been sending our family through our Amazon wish list and just all the other ways that you are blessing our family. We really appreciate you all. So until next time, we pray blessings over you and yours and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart.